The impact that the arts have had on me is that it boosts my confidence. And I feel like if I can do anything in the arts, if I can sing, if I can dance, if I can draw, then I can do anything academically, including make art. Uh, the independence part comes in when you have to go home and practice to make sure that you're up to par with everybody else so that the rest of the band can go on. And uh, it's just the growth is through getting better. We have to be independent in our language ability. I have seen myself improve in my choral passes uh, after taking a uh, course and uh, theater. Uh, this has improved me in my choral classes because in order to be a part of the arts, you have to get certain um, grades. I started taking art classes because in the first semester, I didn't have an art class. I think because of the fact that you have to practice and be diligent in the class, it's helped me to care more about my other classes as well and just take them seriously. Even though I'm not good at art, you know, it helps me in other classes because I can look at courses that I don't know and draw conclusions and it helps me answer the questions in the best of the way. We can't really go on trips or go see in other places and we're always underfunded. We don't have a lot of money to put on porch, so we always have to make people pay to come and see us. The budget cuts have badly affected our theater class because we don't have enough money to afford textbooks for all the students in our class to use. In the years of teaching experience, I've seen a lot of changes with budget cuts and teachers with downsizing, and it's been a lot of pressure on the arts department. The effort students give in the arts classes, as far as excelling and getting a higher grade, relates to the other core courses that they have because the creativity that you think of, the outside of the box, the, the way you problem solve, help in the core courses. So being successful in an art class definitely relates, uh, goes across the board to other subjects as well. They achieve a recognition of their own um, strengths, their own weaknesses, and most importantly, I think, just a recognition of how much the arts are part of their everyday lives. I use a lot of uh, real life experiences when I teach, even with uh, my smaller or uh, younger grades. When I teach about communities, I teach the children that we all have a part to play in our community, like the police department, the fire department, and the postal workers. And when we come together and sing together, then we'll become a community. If we play together, we might be playing different instruments, but we're playing as a group and we all become one as we play together in our classes. Um, mostly by class size. Uh, I think our department is really good at managing our budget, and so we've been very successful. We've had great community support, and so more than anything, it's just class size, and that's a district-wide thing, not just affecting arts education. With the classroom, uh, I want to say like capacity with the teachers, we have music teachers who are teaching 33 and 34 classes a week, therefore we're not doing report cards anymore. Um, so when a child knows that they're not being graded on a certain subject, it tends to cause them to find it to be fun time during music or PE or art or even media. Music is life. Visual arts captures the moment. Theater tells our story.